Welcome to the automotive learning video. This video, we will discuss the comparison of two and four stroke engines. What is a two stroke and a four stroke engine? What are the differences between the two engines? Before we talk about the differences between these two and four stroke engines, let's recall about the two stroke and four stroke engines. If you want to learn more about four stroke and two stroke engines, please watch the previous videos BA2 and BA3 again in this channel. A two stroke engine is an engine that completes a power cycle with two strokes of the piston during only one crankshaft revolution. The engine is able to create power after one cycle because the intake of gas inside the cylinder and the exhaust of the residual gases occur simultaneously. A four-stroke engine is an internal combustion engine in which the piston completes four separate strokes while turning the crankshaft. Which equates to one full stroke of the piston. Therefore, it supplies one power stroke for every two cycles of the piston, or four piston strokes, and a complete cycle requires two revolutions of the crankshaft. Weight of the two-stroke engine is lighter than four-stroke engine. Consumption of lubricating oil is more in two strokes than four-stroke engine. Two-stroke has less thermal efficiency than four-stroke engine. Two-stroke engine the mechanical efficiency is more than four-stroke engine because of less friction in the parts. In two-stroke engine, there is one power stroke for one revolution of the crankshaft. Four-stroke engine two revolution of the crankshaft is required for one power stroke. The two-stroke engine consists of two ports inlet and outlet ports. Four stroke, there are inlet and exhaust valves. Two stroke, there is higher torque generated than four stroke engine. The two stroke produces more smokes than four stroke engine, because some oil burns with the fuel. In terms of power to weight ratio, two stroke engine has more ratio than a four stroke engine. In two stroke engine, the air and fuel mixtures which are known as charges, first enter into the crankcase then enter into the cylinder. Four stroke engine, the air and fuel mixtures directly enter into the cylinder. The two stroke engine takes place scavenging process. In four stroke engine, there is no scavenging process. What is the meaning of stroke in internal combustion engine? Stroking a combustion engine is defined as the process in which the cylinder's piston moves up to the top and down. The cycle starts with the intake stroke in which a fresh mixture of air-fuel mixture enters the engine's cylinder by the downward expanding motion of the piston. Here, stroke is the length of the distance traveled by the piston that means it is a factor used in calculating the engine displacement. Two-stroke gasoline engine operates with two cycles consisting of upstroke and downstroke. In upstroke, there are two events. In the piston or in the crankcase, the volume of the crankcase increases as the piston moves up, while at the top of the piston there is a compression stroke. The downstroke, the piston moves from the top dead center to the bottom dead center because in the combustion chamber, combustion occurs after the spark plug sparks. Piston is pushed down due to the high pressure from the combustion. When the piston moves down and the exhaust port opens, the combustion gases from the combustion chamber exit through the exhaust port. When the piston moves down too, the pressure in the crankcase increases due to the downward movement of the piston. Four-stroke gasoline engine operates with four cycles consisting of intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. Now, let us discuss the each cycle that occurs in two and four-stroke engines. Following is a complete explanation side by side between two-stroke and four-stroke engines. Let's discuss one by one and side by side between two stroke and four stroke engines. Explanation is carried out of the same piston movement position between two stroke and four stroke engines. Start with the intake stroke on a four stroke engine. A 
picture on the right, the four-stroke engine is in the intake stroke position. Intake valve is open, the exhaust valve is closed. The piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center. As the volume of the cylinder increases, the pressure in the cylinder decreases so that the air and fuel mixture is sucked into the cylinder. A picture on the left is a two-stroke engine. Piston moves down from top dead center to bottom dead center. Piston moves down, or downstroke, due to the combustion pressure in the combustion chamber, or power stroke. As the piston moves down, the volume of the crankcase decreases so that the pressure in the crankcase increases. Crank chamber contains a mixture of air and fuel, which previously entered from the intake port. Piston continues to move down. Four-stroke engine, the intake stroke continues, the pressure in the cylinder decreases. Mixture of fuel and air is sucked into the cylinder. In a two-stroke engine, the power stroke still takes place above the piston. For the piston, the air and fuel mixture in the crankcase is compressed so that the pressure increases. Piston continues to move down towards the bottom dead center. Four-stroke engine, the downward movement of the piston causes the vacuum to increase so that the air-fuel mixture is still sucked into the cylinder. A two-stroke engine, the piston moves down and the volume of the combustion chamber increases. Pressure in the combustion chamber decreases. The piston passes through the exhaust port, the combustion gases exit through the exhaust port. While on the other side, the transfer port is also starting to open. Air fuel mixture in the crankcase, which has a high enough pressure, flows into the transfer port and enters the cylinder. Remaining combustion gas is pushed by the new gas out through the exhaust port. Piston then reaches bottom dead center. Four-stroke engine, the intake stroke ends and the intake valve closes. Piston begins to move up and the compression stroke begins. Two-stroke engine, when the piston is at bottom dead center, the air-fuel mixture from the crankcase flows into the combustion chamber through the transfer port. Meanwhile, the residual combustion gas has been pushed out by the new gas through the exhaust port. This condition, scavenging occurs where the exhaust port and transfer port are both open. Rest of the combustion gas is replaced with new gas comes from the transfer port. Piston continues to move up towards the top dead center. Four-stroke engine, the air and fuel mixture is compressed so that the pressure and temperature rise. Two-stroke engine, the movement of the piston upward causes the transfer port and exhaust port to close. Above the piston, a compression stroke occurs, where the air and fuel mixture is pressed so that the pressure and temperature rise. For the piston, the movement of the piston up causes the crankcase volume to expand so that the pressure drops or a vacuum occurs. Therefore, the reed valve opens. Air fuel mixture from the carburetor or fuel injection system enters the crankcase through the intake port. Piston continues to move toward the top dead center. Four-stroke engine, at the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug sparks to start the combustion of the air and fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. Two-stroke engine, at the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug also sparks to start the combustion of the air-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. Meanwhile, under the piston, the air-fuel mixture still flows from the intake port to the crankcase. After the spark plug sparked, there is fire propagation in the combustion chamber, and the piston has passed the top dead center. A closed explosion occurs which causes the pressure and temperature in the combustion chamber to rise. In four-stroke and two-stroke engines, the piston is pushed down due to the combustion pressure that occurs in the combustion chamber. Force received by the piston is then transmitted to the crankshaft through the connecting rod. This linear motion of the piston is converted into rotation by the crankshaft in cooperation with the connecting rod. 
In a two-stroke engine, the downward movement of the piston causes the volume of the crankcase to decrease so that the pressure of the fuel mixture in the crankcase increases. Due to this pressure too, the reed valve is closed. The piston continues to move down towards the bottom dead center. Four-stroke engine, the downward movement of the piston causes the volume of the cylinder to increase and the pressure of the combustion gases in the cylinder to decrease. In a two-stroke engine, the piston also moves down and the volume of the combustion chamber increases. Pressure in the combustion chamber decreases as well. When the piston passes through the exhaust port, the combustion gases exit through the exhaust port. While on the other hand, the transfer port is also starting to open. Air fuel mixture in the crankcase, which has a high enough pressure, flows into the transfer port and enters the cylinder. The remaining combustion gas is pushed by the new gas out through the exhaust port. Piston then reaches bottom dead center. The four-stroke engine, the power stroke ends and the exhaust valve opens. Piston begins to move up and the exhaust stroke begins. Two-stroke engine, when the piston is at bottom dead center, the air fuel mixture from the crankcase flows into the combustion chamber through the transfer port. Meanwhile, the remaining combustion gases are already out through the exhaust port driven by new gas. This condition, scavenging occurs where the exhaust port and transfer port are both open. Residual combustion gas is replaced by a new gas mixture of air and fuel. Piston continues to move up towards the top dead center. Four-stroke engine, the remaining combustion gases in the cylinder are pushed out by the piston through the exhaust valve and exhaust port. Two-stroke engine, the movement of the piston upward causes the transfer port and exhaust port to close again. Above the piston, there is a compression stroke, air-fuel mixture is pressed so that the pressure and temperature rise. Under the piston, the movement of the piston up causes the crankcase volume to expand so that the pressure drops or a vacuum occurs. Therefore, the reed valve opens. The air-fuel mixture from the carburetor or fuel injection system enters the crankcase through the intake port. Piston continues to move up towards the top dead center. Four-stroke engine, the remaining exhaust gases are continuously pushed out by the piston to the exhaust port. Two-stroke engine, this upward movement of the piston continues the compression stroke so that the pressure and temperature increase. For the piston, this upward movement of the piston also causes the crankcase to increase in volume, so that the pressure drops or a vacuum occurs. Fuel mixture from the carburetor or fuel injection system enters the crankcase through the intake port. Piston continues to move toward the top dead center. Four-stroke engine, at the end of the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve closes and the intake valve opens again. Intake stroke starts again and the cycle repeats as previously described. In a two-stroke engine, at the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug sparks to start the combustion of the air-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. Then there is a power stroke as described previously. Cycle on the two-stroke engine is also repeated as previously described. Based on the explanation above, what can be concluded? The conclusions are, 1, in a two-stroke engine, combustion occurs every one revolution of the crankshaft, while in a four-stroke engine combustion occurs every two revolutions of the crankshaft. 2, in a two-stroke engine, the intake of the air-fuel mixture into the cylinder occurs simultaneously with the exhaust of combustion gases when the piston is around bottom dead center. Whereas in a four-stroke engine, the intake of the air-fuel mixture occurs in one full piston cycle when the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center. 3. In a two-stroke engine, the crankcase functions as a suction chamber for the air and fuel mixture and as a temporary storage space for the air-fuel mixture before it enters the cylinder. And on a four-stroke engine, the crankcase is not used as part of a four-stroke engine cycle. 
Fourth, in a two-stroke engine, the piston acts as a valve to open and close the transfer port and exhaust port. Four-stroke engine, opening and closing the intake and exhaust manifolds carried out by valves. Five, in a two-stroke engine, the compression stroke starts when the transfer port and exhaust port are closed by the piston. While on a four-stroke engine, the compression stroke begins when the intake valve is closed. Six, in a two-stroke engine, the power stroke ends when the exhaust port opens before the piston reaches bottom dead center. While in a four-stroke engine, power stroke occurs until the piston reaches bottom dead center and the exhaust valve opens. 7. In a two-stroke engine, the exhaust stroke occurs at the same time as the intake of the air-fuel mixture into the cylinder. A four-stroke engine, the exhaust stroke begins when the exhaust valve opens and the piston moves from BDC to TDC.